It's spelled like take shit. Uh. <laughs> 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 take a shit up. So every Get him with a joke. Every people do that daily. <laughs> take a shit up. Take, take your red. What the hell a great name. She was a pretty sexy woman. Shake her ass. No, but she did shake her butt. <laughs> I don't mind her shake my ass. Man, she can shake the red, shake her. So let's dance, girl. Ethan Page. Yeah! Oh my god, I was freaking I out of the No. Never touch him. Her up. Her up. Hair and. His hair. His hair and. To his shed and his ribs. Like, Lip Borkin, can you do that to me? Can you do that to me? Can you do that to me, <laughs> Bailey? Maxine is faking it. Bitch! He's not faking! She's not faking! She's hurt! We all know she's hurt! Welcome back to Rick Lee Wrestling Wrap Up. We got a lot of things to say of this week. It's been and by we, so he means he. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, you got a mouse in your pocket? Well, I do not do not have a mouse in my pocket. I'm pretty sure I got a other thing in my pocket. And now I'm afraid. Oh, boy. Peace. Peace, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, You're there a is a lot to say. We just said there's a whole lot of live going on in there. I do say that for sure. And All I right, but before one more, one more thing in one my pocket. pocket, in my pocket, a and this was Jimmy for Jack Cable, and, th- and that is it. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Anyway, <laughs> before it becomes PG thirteen. It already is right now. Okay, before we get into AEW stuff, I do have a correction from our good friend, Jared. And oh, hey, also Jared. somebody in, on the YouTube comments said it as well. They did say that wrestlers do sign non-competes. But even really? still, if they do sign non-competes, their non-competes can't be that long. Because Cody Rhodes' last match in 2022 of AEW was January, and he was at WrestleMania in Dallas in April. Jan- oh, it, was it April? Okay. Of the same month. Well, well, of the same year. Cool. Or of the same year, yeah. Maybe maybe it's 90 day. But just that just still seems so well, well, like, surprising. I, I yeah. never see Cody wrestle in AEW, and no other... The, the other week ago, when I was watching AEW All Out in 2019, I saw Cody Capini. That was actually my, my f- first time. And get this Cody Rose is our friends with MJF. Okay. Good to know. All right, so let's get started. Let's talk about Dynamite. Samoa Let's Joe is recruiting somebody. What does that mean? Well, I got a feeling Sh- Samoa Joe is going to going to recruit Huck. Oh, okay. Because so this is a theory re- of yours. Re- recruit him in what way? Well, well, Huck wants wants to fight Chris Jericho and Big Bell and also the the newest member in. In the learning tree, and that's Brian Cage. Brian Cage, what did I say that? Brian, Brian Keith, actually. Brian Keith. Brian Keith is in the learning tree. Congratulations for that, by the way. And Hook, let's just say he is pits. He's mad he will, because he lost at. AEW double and nothing. He lost a match with Shibala. Now we get on 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 Sunday and looks like things are not looking good for Huck. So why would Samoa Joe recruit him? Does he just like want a, a buddy or something? Probably, but because mm. Samoa Joe Joe's kind of like a loner. He flies solo, right? He does that in the past. You're right about that. But after doubling us in, losing 
I guess Chris, Chris Jericho, which is Chris, is still FTW champion. Hook wasn't happy for that loss at Double or Nothing, and I think it's a good idea. You'll be in a ring. He thinks he's gonna get get that beat down by Chris Jericho, Big Bell, and Brian Brian Keith. And here comes Samoa Joe. So Samoa Joe came out to like help. So that's why you think he's recruiting Hook. Samoa Joe says is saying to Hook, "It's not worth it. Mm. It's not worth it getting in that ring and getting the biggest." Beat down by Chris Jericho, Brian Cage, and Big Bell. That's really understandable when Jamojo leave ringside area. Also, Hug was upset, pissed off, and all that jazz. And Hug don't don't want to deal with with Jericho, Cage, or Bell. So, so that's your theory. So, Hook was uh, under him like Shamel Joe did and fellow Shamel Joe. I, I got a feeling Hook is coming around with, with Shamel Joe. If, if I'm Shamel Joe right now, I should become a tag team with Hook. Address some of the comments we've been getting on the YouTube channel. We are completely aware that sometimes Derek says some very outlandish things that make absolutely no sense. Like The Undertaker or Roman Reigns going to AEW. Derek just says things. Derek has opinions. We acknowledge that they are not always reality-based. That's a good way to put it, Bob. Thank you. (laughs) Somebody commented on our last video that like, Something about there are absolutely no rumors going around that John Moxley is <laughs> going back to WWE, which I totally believe that there's no rumors going around like that. Derek has wild hair sometimes, and Derek is very passionate, and sometimes Derek Wait doesn't a always here. believe reality. <laughs> Wait a second. It's Derek's world, okay? We're just living in it. Wait a second. Are you telling telling me there's no rumors about John John Moxley to, to return to Ac- WWE. According to somebody who commented on our YouTube channel, that is absolutely false. There are no rumors about that. Wow. <laughs> so, so don't we are not the dictionary. We are not the truth, the facts, the anything. We are opinion based, and we <laughs> acknowledge that it's not always reality. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So. Trent Beretta is joining the Don Collis family, or is this another one of those maybe not reality things? I was so happy about Trent Beretta. So did that sure. happen? Chris Dunliner says there's somebody will get join the group, and that's Trent Beretta. It so it did happen. It did happen. Okay, and Don Collis and, and Trent. Huh, Huck. Okay, well, great. Great for Trent. And great for but, him. I'm very happy for that. But Chris Stallander is done being a protector, you say. I did say that. And Who what is, is that protecting? Mean? Chris Stallander thinks she's done being done being a protector of Willow. Not, not uh. to kill. Not that she's smart. I, I agree with Chris Stallander. I just boast her. And, and expose, expose. Yes, I you d- I just expose your ass, Willow. Chris Statlander. What are you exposing Chris Statlander for? We we all know there's no friends in in wrestling because she's oh. not friends with Willow anymore. There's no friends. Okay. Well, good to and know. You two need, need to realize that that won't happen in a in WWE. You're right. It's us. We're the delusional ones. Just make sure you remain friends with the, our family. That's all. Yeah. Family's family. You can't really, you know, well, kick us out. You can't fire us. No. No. I would never turn on you guys. You're good. Fine. Okay. okay good to know. Good to know. So there's a big match that they announced on Dyn- uh, 
Dynamite. Yes. And can't guess is back. Who? Christopher Daniels. Oh. Christopher Daniels. He's back and he's working with Tony Khan. And he said in that quote, We are going to have a ladder match for the for the vacate TNT Championship in a ladder match at for Forbidden Door. If if you won this championship, Jack, you, you have to earn it. So what's the match? So the match is a ladder match for the for the vacate TNT Championship. Who vacated the TNT Championship? Copeland. Adam Copeland. Mm. Why? He he was hurt. He was hurt and injured. He's saying that, but barbed wire still still, still cage. Oh, probably because they use barbed wire. Sounds okay. like it would hurt. So on Rampage, huh? somebody qualified for that ladder match at Forbidden yes. Door, and that is Katesha. Okay, Contessa. Katesha. Is that a female or male? You want to say his name? It's the Kanasuki, right? Kanasuki. 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 Takesha. Takesha. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought he was saying Contessa. That's too. I don't know how you really pronounce it. It's it's spelled like take shit. Uh. (laughs) 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 Take a shit. So every people do that daily. (laughs) Take a shit. Every time I I have to say it, I'm like, I'm always stumbling because I'm like, how do you really say this? (laughs) Maybe somebody in the YouTube comments can correct me. Give me the phonetic spelling of how to say this person's name because I struggle every time. Kanasuki, take a shit. That's what I thought. It looks like. It's probably take a shita. Take shita is what I say. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. All right. So he qualified for the match. He did. That's exciting. He's actually the first one. Good to know. And what did uh, Kyle O'Reilly do? Kyle O'Reilly, let's just say um, he did have have a match on on Ray Pace before the the big match on Collision. And he won on, on, he won at, at Ray Pace. Okay. And that was awesome. Love that. Good to know. So moving on to Collision, you have somebody to thank? Yes. And that's somebody to thank is FTR. Tell me about it. Why are we thanking them? Well, what what the Young Bugs and Okada and Jack did to um, Brian K, Darby Allen, especially FTR, at double and nothing, and looks like um, FTR um, spreading the f- the future was gonna be like for them in in, in that wrestling company in AEW. They did lay down a- AEW fans, and that sucks. Like like uh, always. FTR let down the AEW fans. Yeah, and then they decided to um try to to win over the elite, but they won. That was bullshit. It was bullshit when FTR won. Not no. The elite won over okay. FTR. And that is bullshit. Okay. But FTR. So why are we thanking FTR though? They are leaving a AEW. Oh, okay. did they announce it? Are they retiring? They are leaving FTR. FTR is leaving AEW. I just want to say, FTR, we thank you be in in, in a great company. Okay, and somebody else needs to calm the hell down. Yeah, that's Jack Perry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and why? Does... Jungle Boy is a little worked up, eh? I know they don't call him that anymore, but well, Jungle Boy needed to, need to put him in a sleep. He's he's a tiger shit boy. A tiger shit boy. Tiger shit boy. Then that's exactly what I said. Okay, let's and... call him that shit boy, shit boy, shit boy. 
<laughs> and why? Why does it's he a need- version like Chunky Boy, but but better? <laughs> <laughs> and why does he need to calm down? He thinks he wants. He thinks he's a T T N A T T N T champion. We all know that's false. He's not. And thank for Christopher Daniels making that match that happened at Forbidden Door. Not just that. Christopher Daniels is like the shot caller. I believe he's like so. the matchmaker. Not he's not a wrestler. Wrestler. So well, Jack Perry's got to earn it at Forbidden Door. He can't just call himself the TNT champion. Exactly. That is not gonna. I'm getting to. So he needs to calm down because he hasn't won anything yet. No. Got it. Got it. So who's a bitch? Don't the, say your mother. The note. <laughs> no, not you. The note says he's a bitch. Oh, he's a bitch. Who's the bitch? The dude bitch. That bitch is Christian Cage. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Duh. Not big Got news. Tracks. Okay. Why? We don't like him. What do you do this time? He's an asshole. Yep. Well, you think he is. Yep. What, well, just tell us what he did this time. He's not nice. He's, he's not nice. He's to not Nick, to Nick nice Wade to anybody around or him. Or Luchasaurus. Yeah. And I hate the name Kill Switch. Kill Switch is a bad name. Luchasaurus is way better. Oh, great. Nick Wayne. Whatever, Jenna. I know. I tried. Darren does his best saying everybody's <laughs> names. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you, Darren. You don't, don't stop. Let's call him Eric. Mm. Anyway. Funny, because my name is Derek, not Eric. Okay, well, his name is Nick Wayne, not Wick, Nick Wade. It's the it same the damn thing. No, no it's, it's not. Really not. <laughs> all right, all right. Anyways, anyway. Will Ospreay did what? Steal AEW International Champion. He beat... I'm a fan Kyle of that Riley. guy. I'd, I'd love to meet that guy someday. Yeah, and who'd he beat? He's awesome. Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly. It was a hell of a good match. I sure. believe it. Will Ospreay puts on a great show. Yeah. And that was his first time defending his title. It is. That's awesome. It was. It was. Way to go, Will. Love that. All right. Moving on to WWE. There was some special guests. That joined you NXT. That's right. Miss Sexy Red. <laughs> Sexy Red. Sexy Red. She is a rapper. She oh, is from okay. St. Louis. Really? Didn't know yep. that. Um, I will say. She our, is from St. Louis. She's a badass. <laughs> our former producer and still friend, Ellis Hella Cool, did text Katie and I about Sexy Red being on NXT. And I said, who is that? And Ellis was appalled. <laughs> and Katie said that my age was showing. And then I looked you know up what? her music and I was like, I'm not Boomer. surprised. I don't know who this is. Okay. I'm sorry. Like, this, For isn't, Waker, this isn't what I listened to. I, I was the first one to know about Six Your Red is coming. Do you, did you know who she was before she was? Yeah. On she's NXT? a rapper be, before that. Okay. Did you know she was from St. Louis? And I realized that she was from SEL. <laughs> Everybody go with no. Okay, so her and Ava did what? Revealed NXT North American British North American Championship. So is this a new belt? New belt in, in NXT. Awesome. Now, is, is she competing for this belt or was she just a guest? Was it just a guest, a guest appearance? Yeah, she's, she's not a wrestler. Guest. She's no. She's a rapper. She's sticking with her wheelhouse she's not trying to transition to a wrestler well pretty soon she will but but no 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 No, she just was a guest she was just there kind of like jason kelsey at wrestlemania yeah yeah she was just making an appearance all right um she sexy red what the hell a great name she was a pretty sexy woman shake her ass (laughs) 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 Oh my. Okay. Did so did she perform on NXT? No, but she did shake her butt. <laughs> okay. Moving okay, on. Okay, anyway. Like I did before. I don't mind her shaking my ass. 
Where do you can take the red stick? Hey, so let's dance, girl. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so there was a sneak attack on NXT. We like a good sneak attack. Agree with that. Tell us about it. Did we like the sneak attack? It was a good sneak attack. What happened? Do Na- tell. Nathan Frazier and Axiom sneak attack the gamblers. Luke Gallows and Carreta Shed. <laughs> Take that, boy. <laughs> so was it a successful sneak attack? Yep. Love it. Well, you seem happy about it. I am the biggest fan of Nathan Frazier and Axiom are the tag team champions. So we'll see what happened at Battleground this Sunday. Okay. So Jordan Grace made an appearance. She did. That is not. And you were ex- clearly excited about this. Jordan Grace. I'm literally freaking out the whole over. The, the, is freak, she, freaking out the TNA Women's Knockout Champion. That's what I say. She's a TNA wrestler. She is. And I, I got to feel it when um, Jordan Grace to lose the Knockout Women's Championship and done with TNA, I, I got a feeling Charlie Graves will be on WWE. She did compete in the Royal Rumble. She did. Yeah. And she's going to compete tonight. See, she's a TNA wrestler, but she's competing for WWE. So, there's clearly some sort of, like... Blurred lines. Yeah. But I don't think... Maybe maybe TNA is is some sort of subsidiary of WWE. I'm sure if they're not, somebody will correct us. I'm sure you will. Let us know, (laughs) because Jen and I are ignorant. Okay. I I got a feeling... We know a lot more than we used to. Johnny Grace will be the WWE Superstar this year. I do remember her being pretty badass, so that would be fun. I know. I can't wait to cut her matches on NXT all, all the time. All right. So what I can't wait to meet that girl. She's a badass. What did Dante Chen do? Dante Chen just beat Brian Bill- Pillman Jr. You were happy about this? Two times, yes. I thought you were a Pillman Jr. fan. Did the wind blow the other way? Maybe he's a bigger fan of Chen. I'm a bigger, bigger fan. Uh, I would get on this one. Yeah. Okay. So you don't dislike Brian Pillman Jr. You just like Dante Chen more. Well, Dante Chen is very good competitor, and I do my see him compete all the time. Got it. So somebody else made a big appearance at NXT. Yes. Quite the splash. Yes. Tell me. Say his name. Ethan Page. Yes. Oh my god, I was freaking I out of No, he lost his mind. I remember you told me. That I even when I saw that on Instagram the next morning, I was like, no way. And we have had the pleasure. I was the first one be- 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 before you. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, you were. We have had the pleasure of meeting him multiple times. Like he's a lovely gentleman. Just like sexy red. Okay, well, no, we've never met sexy red. No, you knew about sexy red before me. I- I knew about Sexy Red is coming to NXT. I knew she's a rapper. I did look it up. <laughs> also, she's from SEL San Luis Missouri. What? Okay, this girl I gotta meet. So it was a wild episode of NXT. Sexy Red it was. and Ethan Page. Was yeah. Ethan Page shaking his ass also? <laughs> 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 Inquir- inquiring minds would like to know. We got sexy red. Are you going to answer the question? I, I want to answer that damn question. <laughs> Let right. me get to it. Oh, my God. We got sexy red. We got Dorley Grace. After that, we got freaking Easy Paint. Wow. So, what's the answer to Jack's question? Hey, Ethan, I think he's excited you showed up at NXT. What do you think? <laughs> Mind blown. Mind blown right now. Mine blown. Okay, but I gotta know. Did he shake his ass? No. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. No. No. But he's funny. He is funny. He's funny. He's, he's got he quite the attitude ego, on him. Baby. We like him. He was. He is the very first ego. time we met him was back in November of twenty one. We yeah. met him the first time we yeah, went to AEW. I think we saw him all three times. We were at AEW, and he has. Uh, 
big personality and he was very kind and I'd love to chat with him about his transition. That'd be super cool. Yeah, we'll have to see if he follows us on Instagram. Me too. Me too. I'll slide into his DMs either way. Yeah. Just slide in there. You never know what Easy happens. Page is amazing. Like can you imagine to talk to him about his biggest debut fla- last week? That'd be like, crazy. That's Whoa! Sorry, I got so excited about Easy Page. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll work on that, D. Anyway, so Ethan Page came in with a bit of a vendetta. Yeah, he did. Who's he going after? Right now, he's going after Noah and Aura. Is N- Noah's the one we met in Philadelphia in the food court? Yes. Yeah. That's him. Huh. That was quite the sneak attack. I saw the video. Oh, Ethan Page came out of nowhere. It, it's a page dick coming out of nowhere. And that is Noah Dark got, got attacked by, by Ethan Page. And also Aura got attacked is, by Ethan Page. Is Aura a female or male? He's a male. Another guy. It's not the same guy that was with no. Noah. All right, moving it on. Is. What? No. Yes. At the at the mall? I thought that guy's name was like Oliver or something. Well, well, his name is not Oliver. It's Aura. Okay, well, anyways. Aura Meta. So, there was another sneak attack on Friday Night Smackdown. Yep. Crazy. Tell us. Chelsea Green and Pepper Nevin sneak attack Bailey. <gasps> really? Mm-hmm. What happened? During that coronation of Nia Jax. During the coronation. Oh, because she's the queen of the ring. That's okay. Right. She she is a queen and she is my queen. <laughs> okay. And the crowd was telling her that she deserved it. Yeah, she she did. Well, that's nice that the crowd was nice to her for once. I know. Because they're not she very did, nice she to does, her. Yeah, I like, yeah. She gets about as much she hate as works Dom. She hard. I mean, she is a badass chick. And I'll tell you what, those girls love her. Like, it was her birthday recently, and I saw multiple people posting about happy her birthday, birthday happy birthday, how much they love working with her. Happy like, birthday to you. <laughs> her and Maxine are definitely close, and they she is... Don't forget to go to Kai. Clearly, a lot of people, like... They really like her backstage. Even I'm though- sure that all of the heels, just like Dom, are quality, quality people. Oh, I mean, sure. everybody that we have interacted with, whether they are portraying a hero or a heel, in both companies, WWE and AEW, have been so kind. And I just... I just think it's the kind of person that's attracted to this business. I mean, they're in this business. And I heard David say it on the podta- podcast this week. I so enjoyed that listening to David. He, he just wants to entertain. Cool. Right. And that's what they're doing. And they're just. They're putting on a show. They're putting on a show. And they're, they're you know, portraying a character. So. I'm into a, that. I mean, just amazing people. All of them. So there was some scary stuff going on on SmackDown. Yeah. It did. Very scary. And it uh, was? I saw the bird. I was going to ask, was there a cicada in the ring? <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not like cicada, Mom. It's a it, bird? It's a different type of bird. Is this? Does this have to do with like the Wyatt Six stuff? Probably. Like a, so they're like just a, really working this up for Uncle Howdy to come back? I think so. There goes a lot of videos. Like some... Some random kid, random man, um, to play a a video game. He says, saying uh, like, um, I love this game. I was, what the heck? Was it a real bird or was it a person in a bird suit? <laughs> it wasn't a a wasn't a bird suit. It was, it a, was a bird, but it was on the video. Yes. Like a raven? Was it a black bird? I don't think it was that. I, I, I forgot enough. Do you remember, do you remember um, the, the turkeys? Yeah, I hate those. They're awful birds. Well, guess what? What? They came to 
to our street and picked up our turkey? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> no. Yay! No, that that did not happen. Oh. What, what, what? I, I saw a turkey with all around the videos. Every single one. I bet it wasn't a turkey. All right. We'll check well, it out later. There's trouble in paradise. It is. And there's a trouble in paradise for Chris Water and Alter Fairy. Uh oh. <laughs> and you think that's funny? Oh, wow. Crazy. That's way too far, my guy. What happened? He said to the Corey Graves, thinks make Alter Fairy relevant of Chris Water Rup. What? I'm not sure I follow that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Say that again. Or say it differently. We don't get it. He said. Is he I, turning on Austin? I, I I don't think so. That's just. But he's talking trash about Austin. He but, was. Gracie was talking to, to Corey and. And he popped off and. and he was venting. He's, he, he was saying. Halloween, Austin Fury. Let, let's just say he he does something super awful. I I got a feeling he's is going. Do you think he's gonna turn on Austin? I I I don't think he's gonna turn. I mean, that's really bumming a road in, in a town down under. You think so they'll make Derek, that? Derek's there's, in denial that he's going to So turn. there's been some waves, but we think it'll get patched up. Yeah, it does. Damn it, will get patched and up. And if sure. not, screw Grayson Waller. You're on a town down. Or a town down. I think team. Austin and Th- Austin Theory and Dominic should be a tag team. Well, they're buds in real life. They are buddies. That is true. Well, whatever happens with Christian Water, we, we all know we, we love that kid. All oh, right. Okay. Okay, so what's going on with the bloodline? The bloodline. Oh, my God. They're like bunnies. They just keep multiplying. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> multiplying. <laughs> they are. Now there's these more and more brothers come coming out of the woodwork. Tama Tonga, Tonga like Loa. Cockroaches. Like, where the know. heck do they, they? They breed a lot of men in that family. Well, let me tell you this. Tama Taga is a bait. Yep, you're a fan. And Tongaloa is his brother. And when Tongaloa made his debut at, at Backlash? What did Paul ha- Heyman tell uh, Kevin Owens? Kevin Owens. Paul Heyman telling Kevin Owens to back off on the bloodline. I agree. Because the bloodline is getting stronger and growing like big. So Tama Taka Takaloa, they are our badasses. Like, can, can you imagine being in a ring with, with those two men? No. Mm-mm. I don't. I couldn't. Uh, the Usos. And what is Solo Kevin Owens Roman, doing? Is he, like, challenging somebody? Apparently, he likes to fight the bloodline. Yeah. And we all know. Kevin Owens likes to fight. That's for sure. Definitely that. We all know Kevin Owens likes to fight for sure. Last time I remember, Tabataka did make him bleed. Hmm. So are you, like Paul Heyman says, to back off on the bloodline? For his own health. So why are we... For yours, safety. Why are we thinking AJ Styles? Well, well, reason we are thinking AJ Styles because um, I got a feeling his time in WWE is is already up. Okay. He is retiring. This is what you think. He I did see on Instagram he was given some sort of like speech. I didn't watch the whole thing, but it was like I did. Seemed very like nostalgic kind of vibes. I did watch Was that, he saying that goodbye? Speech? He was saying goodbye. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. And he is, retire, he, he is retiring from wrestling. He's hmm. stepping away from the ring. 
his same way of WWE and same way for the ring. And well, he's been around for a long time, so he's been that's a while, fair. long time. I never forget the biggest debut in the Royal Rumble in 2016. Okay, and and I will watch that all the time. All the time. So AJ Styles, you have my respect. You have everything I I know of. What I'm saying is, you not you not only make SmackDown your house to build. AJ Styles, AJ Styles built. You build your own house. So we fake you, brother. All right. Moving on to Monday Night Raw. Did it kick off with Dom and Liv? It did. Oh, man. They're really milking this. I oh, they are. Jack this for this if, is the if, biggest story in all of you, WWE. If, if anybody else is as obsessed with this Dom and Liv story as your brother, the writers deserve an Emmy. Oh, they're all obsessed. Everybody's obsessed. Yeah, they are obsessed. So what happened at the beginning? Well, the beginning of the show, we just saw that graphic of Dom and Lev. And then then part of that graphic. Did they show the kiss? They got um, a steel cage match last week. And after Liv Morgan's win... When, when Liv Morgan walked past Dom and and, and yes, I I saw the kids. Okay. I saw Liv Morgan, Casey Dominic. That's the first start of it. And Liv kind of called Dom out too, didn't she? She did. Cause Dom said he went out there to the steel cage match to help Becky. And Liv kind of called him out and was like, you did not come out here to help Becky. You came out here to help me admit it. Did he admit it? Yes. He did admit he it? He did admit it. I don't think he... I, say, I don't think he admitted it. it. I don't think he admitted <laughs> it. I don't think he did. <laughs> Derek wants him to admit it. We all know it's the truth. We all know the truth of it. But he did crack a smile. He did. He did. He w- she was running his her fingers through his hair and all kinds of. Oh yeah, there was yeah. lots of flirting going on. There was lots of yeah touching. And yep. So did Finn Balor interfere at the beginning or only at the end? Well, l- l- let me help you f- f- for for this one. First, Liv and Liv was talking about her, her win at King of the King and Queen of the Ring. After that, also went by winning the steel case match last week, putting Becky early retirement. That's just so rude. <laughs> and 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 also she said on Jerry on top to kissing Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> Run me that measure on top. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's um, like a giddy little schoolboy. <laughs> blah blah blah. And then um, you not Dom. No, not Dom. Definitely you. Blah blah blah. Blah blah. I'm saying it right now. Blah blah blah. blah. Derek wouldn't be able to play it as cool as Dom. Oh no, he would giggle. <laughs> hey now. Hey, Dom's a good actor. Wow. Ain't made up, throwing up. <laughs> anyway, also he just she said about views on on the internet. In fact, Morgan did broke the internet. Mm. So she was bragging about how the bragging, internet reacted. Bragging about that that kid. And then she was kind of flirting with him, touching him, touching his hair, touching his chest. And why after that when Dominic come on down and the talk and they just say he was a little bit 
speech translated and talk much and then she backed him into a corner and then there were there were Dominic was in the ring Dominic saying to live when mommy comes back she will kill you <laughs> And 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 Liv tolerated that. She said, "May." And also, she, Liv Morgan says, "Maybe she's gonna go kill you too." <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. Ring up, ring up, and will David will kill Dominic Mysterio first. <laughs> so, did Dominic say that he was giving Rhea some space? And then. Liv back, back, back up Dominic to the corner. There's a lot of touches going on. A little bit of handsy. A <laughs> little handsy. He's little not handsy. Wrong. He's not going wrong. on. Oh, sorry, mom. To Liv um, touching her, um, her um, hair and his hair, uh, his hair and to his chest and his ribs. Like, wow. Ooh la la. No, who la 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 la? <laughs> Lil Borky, can you do that to me? Can you do that to me? Can you do that to me, <laughs> Bailey? <laughs> wow, I'm ready to move off this topic at any moment. Okay, well, did it, Dom say that he was giving Rhea space? And then after that, here comes Finn Balor. Here, here comes Finn Balor. Finn, Finn moment, Balor created space. Right, between Dom and Liv. Yeah. Finn Balor ruined the moment. <laughs> okay. Love killer. <laughs> Love killer. <laughs> That's exactly what Finn Balor says. He said to Liv Morgan to back off. Oh, my God. Okay, so. Buddy. For, for the third time, did Dominic say that he was giving Rhea space? He did say that, yes. Okay. So, what do you think is going to happen when Rhea finds out? Well, if R- Rhea finds out. I'm betting out. she already knows. <laughs> well, that's, that's valid. But what do you think is going to happen when, when she, she returns? Comes back? I think she's going to kill Dominic before Liv Le- Morgan. So, you think she's going to kill Dom first, not Liv? Damning that. She's going to come after both of them. Yeah, I, I think that's probably accurate. Okay. I think she's going to sneak attack them. So, what do you think Dom's decision is? I think I know, and I will t- tell you pretty soon. What? You're going to make us wait? Just a little bit. Let, let's go ahead. All right. What did our truth do? Well, do you remember the, the time when our truth wants to be in, in the judgment, judgment day? Yep. Yep. Well, our truth w- was talking to Carlito about the j- judgment day and telling the myth comes up and talking to our our triv excuse me our do say 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 excuse me okay? thank you thank you for that the man w- walks up to him and say say something about no judgment day and and our truth said to him and I quote you are uh, upset you are you have a problem. You are obsessed with the judgment day. <laughs> oh, that was so hard. <laughs> I thought that I got it. <laughs> the Miz observed with the judgment day. <laughs> so our truth said it about the Miz, not the Miz said it about our truth. Our truth to say that to the Miz. No. Uh, if anything, it's got to be the other, other way around. No. Our truth to say that to the Miz. I laugh. Oh, I believe you that so that's what hard. happened. But it, it should be the other way around. So we were doing the notes and all this note said was bitch. <laughs> so who's who's the bitch this time? Jack Gable. Mm-hmm. Jack freaking Gable. What do you do? He's got something up his butt. He's just not been nice. He is a... a Ass. He is an asshole. We don't like how rude n- how he's been he's treated. He's a demon. A demon. A demon. Not this demon, but different <laughs> D. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you remember? You just say something about Chris Cage. 
It started with a T. <laughs> that might have been inappropriate. You may say it if you like. Now let's just move on. You do it. A dick. <laughs> Jack Gable is a dick. Okay. Like you c- call. C- did I say that? Is a dick. Okay. If fine. you say so. Jack okay. Gable so what did what did Otis do? <laughs> Otis have to listen to all 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 the people. All the people, especially the same as Zane. I got a feeling Sami Zayn will come around with, with Otis. You think Sami? I like that idea. Sami Zayn helping Otis sounds good, good to me. Agreed. But what did Otis do to Maxine and Akira? When Jack Gable w- wants to do pick a fight with Sami Zayn, he accidentally. Sami went through Otis and. Maxine and Akira Gazawa laid it very hard. And Maxine was hard after that. Oh, I don't like that at all. So what did Otis do? W- what before what Otis did? Shaq Gable? Fix Maxine is faking it. Bitch, he's not faking. She's not faking. She's hurt. We all know she's hurt. Okay, so after she was hurt, what did Otis do? Way before that. (laughs) Otis. Let's talk about him. Otis, to carry out, not just Maxi Dupree, also Kirikazawa. At the same time? At the same time. (laughs) Like over his shoulders or what? (laughs) Well, well. One on top of the other? Well, well, she put, he put, Otis put on. Kirigazawa on on his back, on on his shoulders, and and he got got Maxine on his arm. So he's oh, carrying. Good. I'm <laughs> glad he carried up. her out nicely. Oh my Both god! All right, now who wants to take the Intercontinental Championship? Jack Gable. Yeah, that's no, yeah, not gonna well. happen. <laughs> I agree. You know what I think? You only, you Otis, with here's me. what's gonna happen. Eventually, Otis is gonna tire of Chad. Otis is gonna kick his ass, and Chad's gonna realize he's been a jerk. And yeah. he's, he's going to come around. Okay. Totally. Yes. What did Kiana James do? She got a win. Her debut win, yeah? Her debut win over Titalia. All right. Congrats to her. That's awesome. That's awesome. Congrats, girl. What does Jey Uso want to do? He wants to be Mr. Money in the bank. Yeet. Yeet. I like that plan. And I'd, ag- I'd agree. I'd totally agree. I am glad I'm going to be in a good service. Pretty Money in the Bank is, is on July 1st. Where, where are we going on July 1st? Uh, we will be in Nevada. It's got to be on Ju- June 30th then, huh? Yeah, Ju- that's a Monday, July 1st. It is. Money in the Bank's on a Monday? Uh, I don't think it's on, on, on Monday. Then it's probably on June 30th. Is not That's a Sunday. Years. All right. Well, well, we'll we'll look it up later. So at the end, Liv came out one more time to protect Dominic. Yeah. Against two. Well, excuse me. Braun Roman was having a having a match with Carlito, and Braun Roman actually won and won that match. And uh, after that, the whole Judgment Day is going white after him. And so they were sticking up for Carlito Judgment Day. Yes. And Braun Strowman went after Dom with a chair. And then. And he's in a sling. Mm-hmm. Um, he had a sling on. His arms in a sling. He could be faking it. I, I don't know. I thought he had Tommy John surgery. I don't know. He, I, I saw the video of Braun Strowman coming after him and he was he might have been in a sling. He was definitely crawling on the ground, though. I don't remember. I, I, but Liv came I, out and got it. between him and Braun Strowman. And why after the, the, the whole sneaky tag on, on Braun? Here comes Dominic with a steel chair and Ron quit of the steel chair like a box running away and Dominic go out of the ring and 
the other side and Dominic and ran away from Braun Strowman. That was way before. I would yeah. too. He's big. <laughs> but yeah, he. I don't Dominic remember him having a sleeve was, on. Was on the floor. Braun is trying to get Dominic. And, and here comes Lynn Le- Morgan. She jumped in between them. Lynn Le- Morgan was right next to Dominic. Stop it, Braun. Tell me, Braun, to not go after my man. Okay. He's mine. Don't hurt him. Okay. All right. Real quick, we got to run through these NXT Battleground match quick. cards. Quick, We've quick, got quick. Uh, the NXT North American Women's Champion six woman ladder match. Lash Legend, Mitchin, Sol Ruka, Fallon Henley, Jada Parker, and Kalani Jordan. Who you got? Wow. That's the biggest card ever. I think I got so, so working for this one. Okay, good to know. NXT Women's Championship. We got Roxanne Perez versus Jordan Grace. Absolutely not. There's no way Jordan Grace is taking that title off uh, of Roxanne Perez. I am picking Roxanne Perez. So he's happy to see Jordan Grace at NXT, but not happy to see her win. Got it. We've got a triple threat match. Obafemi versus Wesley versus Joe Kofi. You say it's Joe Kofi. 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 Isn't, isn't that Joe Kofi? Is Joe Kofi. Kofi. Get it right, girl. Okay, all sorry right. about Who's that. Who's winner? I got Wesley for sure. Wesley all the way. NXT Tag Team Championship. We got Axiom and Nathan Frazier versus Luke Gallows. You and know what it is? that. I got Nathan Frazier and Axiom. So it'll, be, so it'll be the Tag Team Champs. All right, and last one, NXT Underground match, Shayna Baszler versus Lola Vice. I got a lot of Vice fights. All right, that is all we have time for today. Thank you guys so much for being here. I was thinking about hips. If you <laughs> love wrestling, I'm sure you have friends who like wrestling. You should tell them that they should also listen to the weekly wrestling <laughs> wrap up with Baker's bantering <laughs> because. I could help it. <laughs> For those of you listening and not watching, Derek is gyrating in his chair right now. Yeah, that's a pretty good description. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So call me the Derek Garcia or sexy red. I don't care. All right. All right. <laughs> sexy in red. But thank, thank you. you guys for being I here. Am red. Bakerbanner.com for our Baker Banner I am merch. Very red. Find us on Cameo <laughs> at Baker Banter. Right I'm never gonna get it out. Um <laughs> Like, We're, share, subscribe, thank you, thank you comment. Watching, we'll talk to you next time. See you on Monday. Peace. Peace.